And as the conflict continues in Ukraine following the Russian invasion, congressional members say the U.S. should be prepared for cyber attacks from Russia. Our Washington, D.C. correspondent Rachel Knapp reports. If Russia pursues cyber attacks against our companies, our critical infrastructure, we are prepared to respond. For months, we've been working closely with, our pri with the private sector to harden our cyber defenses, sharpen our ability to respond to Russian cyber attacks as well. After rolling out heavy sanctions against Russia after they invaded Ukraine, President Biden says they've seen cyber attacks from Russia on Ukraine, trying to mislead people about the Ukraine situation. And political analysts say Russia's focus could pivot to the U.S. I think it's very likely that we will uh, incur some cyber attacks in the United States. It's always difficult to know when these are going to be going to come, and it's also difficult to know what our own intelligence agencies have been able to fend off because they don't want to reveal their methods and practices. Senator Kirsten Gillibrand says although they haven't seen any cyber attacks on the U.S. public or private sector from Russia, we should be prepared. And those attacks will likely not come in the form of an attack on government, but it'll more likely come in the attack of the private sector. Gillibrand says hackers have already caused problems in New York before, attacking the Metropolitan Transportation Authority a few months ago. Now she's pushing for additional funding to build our cyber infrastructure. The sanctions that the U.S. and our allies have levied on Russia following the invasion of Ukraine have increased the risk of retaliatory cyber attacks, particularly against New York State infrastructure and individuals. The United States must act quickly to strengthen our cyber defenses to counter any unwarranted and unprovoked Russian aggression. And President Biden says some of the Russian cyber attacks on Ukraine include the spreading of disinformation.